News Update. September Thursday, we're looking at the Dow up 477 at 34,500 at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. A really terrible day yesterday. And but what did it do? The Dow went right. Look at this on the 200 period exponential moving average. I was saying to subscribers to my opening call, this is really good. Is it time to buy? But I think we have at least some testing to do over the next few days. Uh, we'll we'll see because we've had a rotation between the different sectors, and I'll show you what's happening here. The S and P is actually now the Dow's up 1.27 percent. The S and P is up lower, up 0.94 percent, up 90, up 42 at uh, 45.55. It came down very sharply, and uh, here there is no real support. But you can see this is a very nice uh, push to the upside. But now the nine period moving average as, as for the third day has been a lower uh, than the, the 14 period moving average. And that's kind of a negative. We're watching this closely because the QQQ, the NDX 100, is only up 0.56 percent, up to 17 and 389. I suspect that we're starting to see the real big cap leaders start to take a little bit of a breather here. And that's really important in this rotational correction. Look at the IWM, the Russell 2000. Had a horrible session yesterday. Today it's not bad. It's up 1.88 percent, up four dollars at 217.28. Now what's really interesting is what happened to the to the safety factor. Well, gold usually becomes a safety factor when the financial system is under pressure. So it isn't under that right now. So gold is down 17 and 1766. I said 1775, 1772 should be key support. Well, it's under that. It's under keys, a key key uh, a trend line. Uh, rising trend line, got to watch that closely. But look at the dollar. The dollar's not really using that opportunity to move higher. It's down 18 ticks and 95.86 holding in the upper range. What's really important here, you finally got crude oil uh, attempting to, to find a bottom, but it hasn't at 64.97, down 60. But the most important thing, and I'll talk about it when I do my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, is that the bonds are unchanged at 152.32 in the higher range that means that the yields have been coming down i'll be back very important two sessions coming up today and tomorrow i'll be back in a month with the tiger Kings tower join me you're right now.